I'm so tired of love songs, tired of love songs, tired of love songs, tired of love. Wanna go home, wanna go home, wanna go home, whoa. Right? Hello world, what's up guys? Welcome back to today's video, which is totally on the fly. Today guys, I just got out of the shower and I was like, I need to film a video. I need to talk to my subscribers and I need to talk to you guys like today. In fact, I decided I think I'm gonna upload this video today as well, which is Monday. Normally I like to pre-film my videos by at least a couple of days, but today I was like, you know what? I wanna to talk to you guys today. So if you're watching this Monday night, basically we're doing this live, we're doing this together. Now, when I was in the shower, I was like, oh my gosh, I just need to share with you. I was like compelled by the Holy Ghost that I needed to share with you guys my after Clear and Brilliant and after IPL, also BBL, not to be confused with Brazilian butt lift. IPL and BBL are also lasers, but you guys know that I've had Clear and Brilliant treatments, I've had facials, I've had the IPL treatment. So this is a week after those treatments and my skin is still a little bit flaky. Now, you know, for up to 10 days to two weeks, really you don't want to exfoliate the skin because your skin is very sensitive, it's very compromised. You don't want to be breaking any more blood vessels, which I've done in the past. You don't want to be creating any acne, any scarring. So you basically want to keep your skincare routine very simple, all about hydration, moisturizing, not anything too crazy, no AHAs, no BHAs, no heavy exfoliants, keeping everything very light, very simple. So my skincare routine after these treatments is totally built around that hydration, moisturization, protecting the skin. Of course, there's a sunscreen involved. Before we dive into today's video, I wanna give a very special welcome and say a very special hello to over 2,000 of you, 2,000 of you that have joined my family in the last month, you guys. I can't believe it. Welcome to the family. I'm so excited that you found me. I'm so excited that we found each other. If you're new to my channel or if you're like a returning subscriber, say hello in the comments down below. You guys know I reply to like every single comment, even the trolls. So say, hey, what's up, hello, or leave me a trolling comment down below. Of course, I will give you an answer. And without that, let's dive right into today's video. All right, so first things first. Honestly, during the first couple of days after the IPL and Clear and Brilliant treatment, of course, if you wanna learn anything more about these treatments, I'll have the information linked down below. I filmed my entire adventures getting these treatments before. So if you wanna learn all about those treatments in particular, I'll have them linked down below. But listen, you guys, the first, I'd say about four days are the worst after the treatment. Your skin is so dry, so flaky, it feels like sandpaper. Now, I wouldn't say that anyone else really notices, except for your skin is like brown, or red, just like a really deep color. It almost looks like you have a windburn on your face, but the results are so amazing. Like I said, this was my third treatment and I'm gonna post an entire before and after series, probably in the next couple of weeks. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Because your skin is so dry and so flaky and you can't exfoliate, it literally drives you crazy. So all you can do is moisturize, 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 heavily, heavily moisturize, and basically just keep your skin like glued on your face and because you don't want it flaking off and people being like, oh my gosh, what is wrong with that person's skin? Because honestly, that's kind of what it looks like, or at least that's what it feels like. So all of the products that I have today are meant to like hold your skin on. This is great for a winter skincare routine, a very, very dry skincare routine. If you've got like crocodile skin, you're gonna love this routine. So the first step in this skincare routine, because this is all about hydration, hyaluronic acid, I'm actually gonna go ahead and eat Yes, you heard that right. I'm gonna go ahead and eat a teaspoon of my Fountain Hyaluronic Molecule. Now, honestly, I don't know very much about this product, if anything. This is something that I bought off of the DCM website during their Black Friday deal. It was on for a really good deal, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna pick it up, I'm gonna try it. This is a ginger flavor, and it is an edible hyaluronic acid. You guys know I love hyaluronic acid. It binds to water and blows up, normally under your skin. Oh. Not only did it drop on the floor, but this flavor is also ginger and I'm not the biggest ginger fan. But you know what? I figure after my Clear and Brilliant treatments and after my IPL, my body can use as much hyaluronic acid. Ugh. It is very thick, I will tell you that. So this says to take two teaspoons. I took one tablespoon. I don't know if that equals the same thing, but who knows, my skin is so dry. I mean, I'm sure this isn't gonna make my skin any more dry. I figured this was the perfect time to start trying it. I've been taking it for a couple of days. And like I said, I'm not the biggest ginger flavor fan, but if it makes my skin more hydrated, my joints, who knows? I'll give it a try. 
All right, now before my skin gets too dry, let's move along a little bit more quickly. I'm gonna be using the Garnier Skin Active Toner. Now, the reason that I like to use a toner is just to add a little bit more hydration to the skin. This is also gonna balance the pH levels and when you apply your serums, I'm gonna apply more hyaluronic acid. It's gonna be able to bind to the moisture that you put back on the skin with the toner, absorb that deep into the skin, and then we'll be able to seal it on with the emollient with the creams at the end. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bit of toner on my skin. Ugh. Now you guys will notice that I'm tapping it on the skin. A, this is something that I do more often than not anyway, but in particular after you have the IPL and Clear and Brilliant treatment, because your skin does feel like sandpaper, you don't want to be rubbing it or moving it around. So it's almost like a pressing action. Like you're hydrating the skin, you're pressing it in, you're not irritating it, and you're not moving it around. Mmm, and it just feels so refreshing. Now, next up, we're going to layer on some serums. I'm not going to use anything too potent or too powerful. So I'm going to be using my Claire's Rich Soothing Serum. I have mentioned this before on my channel. This is such a gooey texture. It really coats the skin, hydrates the skin. And this is made an aqueous serum made with a concentrated formula, rich blend of organic complexes, all meant to soothe. Of course, there's hyaluronic acid in here and so many other cooling benefits. So this is a great serum to use after having these treatments because you just want to hydrate the skin and almost cocoon it in moisture. You guys can see it has like a very tacky texture. Woo! So I'm just going to apply this all over the skin. Again, you don't want to rub too much. You want to be very gentle because like I was saying, your skin is so sensitive. You don't want to do anything to damage the skin because you just went through all that work and all that money. You don't want that to be wasted. Now, I also love this serum because it has a cooling effect and it helps to reduce redness. And of course, after these treatments, your skin is quite red. My skin is still pretty red right now. I wish you guys could feel it. You can't really see, but it definitely feels like sandpaper, like really fine sandpaper. It's crazy. Now, because my skin is so dry, so parched, so dehydrated, I'm gonna go ahead and add another serum. Literally, you can't have enough hydration in this skincare routine because your skin is just like, I need some help. So I'm gonna add in more hyaluronic acid. I also bought this on the same day as the hyaluronic acid that I just ate. This is from Niode from the DCM company. This is the multi-molecular hyaluronic acid complex. There's something crazy like 15 different hyaluronic acids. There's also 1% pure hyaluronic acid. Hopefully I just ate pure hyaluronic acid as well. But like I was saying earlier, this really penetrates the skin, it binds to water, and it blows up, basically. So it hydrates the skin, it lifts the skin, and it plumps the skin. Now, I only like to use a couple of drops because this was a pretty expensive serum. And I'm just going to pat this in. In particular, I found around my mouth was the driest after these treatments. I don't know about you guys, if you've had these before, what was your after skincare routine? After any of these treatments, what did you guys use? How long did you wait to exfoliate? I like to wait the full 10 days, so almost two weeks. It is so tough. All right, now whenever you're using a hyaluronic acid on the skin, you want to move quickly with a moisturizer or an emollient. Because the hyaluronic acid is doing its job, it's soaking up all the moisture, it's plumping your skin, it's lifting your skin. If you don't seal a moisturizer on top, it's actually going to start to draw all of the water out of your skin, making your skin even more dry. So because today's routine is like for the driest skin possible for the safari desert, no, is it the Safari Desert? Where has a really dry skin? Mojave Desert? The Mojave Desert definitely has very dry skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and layer on a night sleeping mask. Now I actually use this as my daytime skin cream after every single IPL and Clear and Brilliant treatment. This is a very intense overnight hydration mask by Bosha. It contains their infamous Japanese ingredient Tsubaki oil, which is so hydrating, so moisturizing, I like to use, honestly, a pretty decent amount. And at first, you guys, your skin is gonna look a little bit shiny and you might have to blot your skin. I do find as the day went on, the skin does become very shiny, but I mean, better shiny and hydrated than dry and flaky, in my opinion. So again, I'm just tapping this mask on the skin. I'm not moving it around too much. I'm not causing any irritation, I'm not stressing the skin out. We don't want to cause the skin any stress because these treatments are already stressful enough. So I've tried a lot of different moisturizers after these treatments. Like I said, this is my third treatment. So I've had the chance to try a lot of different moisturizers afterwards to find which one works, which one doesn't. 
because if you just use a normal day moisturizer, your skin will turn white almost instantly. You can't overstate how dry the skin is and how white and flaky it looks. So you wanna make sure that you're using the heaviest moisturizer possible. If you have a night mask at home, go ahead and try it as your day moisturizer if you have really dry skin. Honestly, it can save your life. All right now you guys know that it is absolutely crucial to be wearing a sunscreen, especially after any facial treatments. So I do have two sunscreens here. I just wanna talk quickly. I do have the Skin Medica. This is their Sun Protection Daily Physical Defense Sunscreen Lotion. Now, this is one of the most expensive and one of the most top rated sunscreens basically on the market. Skin Medica, you know, is an amazing brand and I wanna say this sunscreen was around $75, but the only downside is because your skin is so dry after this treatment, and especially in the area around my mouth, I found that when I used the Skin Medica Sun Protection, it actually made my skin look very white. It almost clung to the dry skin and didn't absorb deep. It almost left like a powdery finish, which is good for on any other day. If you want smoother skin, it does make your skin look very smooth, but because your skin has so much texture after these treatments, I found that this just wasn't the best sun protection. So under these conditions, I've been loving my Claire's Soft Airy UV Essence, you guys know this is also, in my opinion, one of the best sunscreens on the market. You guys know that Claire's is one of the most amazing South Korean beauty brands, and this UV essence is SPF of 50 plus as well as a PA of four pluses. So you're totally protected from inside lights as well as outside lights, total sun protection. Now it is very important. What I love about this sunscreen in particular is it has zero white cast. Now I've talked about this on my channel dozens of times and you guys are always shook. So you can see it is a little bit white on my fingers. Watch this you guys. This is like the most magic sunscreen you guys will ever see. Take my word for it. I literally don't even have to open my eyes to know that the white cast is probably gone. You guys, can you see this? Zero white cast, full SPF, full PA plus protection. Thank God I got it on because this ring light is very bright. My skin is now protected. You guys know it's very important to also reapply your sunscreen every two hours. And because the sunscreen has zero white cast, it, it makes for an amazing reapplication throughout the day. If you're in the car, if you've got to hit the road, if you're in public, you don't have to like wait and let it sit on the skin like other sunscreens. Basically you put it on, sun protected, go and listen. No greasy, snippety snap snap. All right guys, I guess that's a wrap on today's video. My after IPL and after clear and brilliant skincare routine made for extremely dry skin. So whether you've just had one of these facial treatments or if you're just someone suffering from like dry winter skin, hopefully you found some products in today's skincare routine that's gonna make your skin more hydrated. As you guys can see, my skin is not only protected, but it's more hydrated, it's luminous, it's not dry, it's not white, it's not flaking. Like I said, this was my third treatment, so I've got to try a lot of different products to find ones that really work after these treatments. Take my word for it. These are definitely a few of the best products I had, literally from the inside out, from eating that hyaluronic acid to applying it to the skin. My skin is hydrated more than ever. Anyway guys, thanks for coming over. Thanks for hanging out. I really just had the urge to film today to talk to you guys today. So like I said, if this is Monday night, Everything went according to plan and I got this video up ASAP. I love talking to you guys and if you stuck around until the very end, of course you are so, so, so special to me. If you have any ideas for future videos, let me know in the comments down below. And of course you guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye.